Hi and thank you for watching my videos. In this video we're going to be going over a newly installed high velocity air handler system that provides heating and cooling um, and it's a, it's a space pack model. So it works uh, similar to a conventional air handler it's just that it works um, on a higher velocity and a higher static pressure. So this is our heating coil and this gets connected to our Wiesmann boiler. The heating coil does not come with the air handler that's purchased separately. And in the back of the air handler we have our return. So the returns on these space packs have to be at least four feet long. And this is, it's a, that's a 15 inch return. Starting immediately after the air handler on the supply side, we have our ACM module. And this is basically is a motorized damper that can self adjust. It'll go from being 100% open to modulating down just a little bit if you're uh, overblowing in, um, in the main area. And the way this is calibrated is using uh, an amp meter. So you actually can see how much air you're moving by putting an amp pro an amp meter over the hot uh, going to the blower motor. And then we have our uh, conventional air uh, cooling side, which gets piped like any other cooling side. You have a liquid line and a suction line. And then over here on our plenum, <clears throat> everything is insulated. So in, um, the way on the way the ductwork was run in this job is it was run, this part right here is actually nine inch, but it drops to two seven inch supply lines and everything is insulated. Um, and then off of the insulated supply plenum, we have takeoffs and um, which are right here. And these get secured right into the ductwork with special clips that you have to buy from space pack. So, um, now this is your takeoff. So right off of here, you'd start to run your supply tubing and this would go to our diffuser. Now they recommend a minimum of six feet on the supply tubing. And then after the supply tubing, we have some sound attenuation. So as we come through the floor, this is our sound attenuator, acts like a big muffler. And then we connect to our supply tubing, and then from our supply tubing we run to our plenum. Now um, we want to keep these a minimum of six feet long, and they also have balancing orifices that can get installed inside the takeoff uh, to, if you have balance issues, they have a 35 and I believe a 15%. Uh, orifice. The the very end of the the plenum gets capped with a regular cap, with a conventional cap. And uh, in this application, we ran conventional smoke pipe, and we sealed it with uh, with rubber tape, uh, the expensive rubber tape that uh, provides an excellent seal. So for this um, application, you can see why. Um, we used the uh, the smaller ductwork as opposed to a conventional system because this is a renovation and there's not a lot of working room here to run larger ducts. So we just ran 7-inch plenum with takeoffs on it. Here in the floor we have our takeoffs. So that sound attenuator connects to the takeoff. Right, um, I'm sorry, the uh, diffuser. And uh, this is where the air comes out of. So you have to properly size these according to the space that you have. And of course, having an effective, uh, doing an effective uh, load calculation is key to all this. So this is just a small apartment and we're, you know, uh, around two tons, ton and a half. 
And um, so here are our vents. Here we have our termination plate, which is basically where the air comes out of, uh, similar to a diffuser. And um, there's different decorations you can put on these to, to make them look a little prettier. This is just the basic apartment, so we're just keeping them like this for now. And this is a, a if it, these come with the, these plugs, if you're using it for cooling only in the winter, you can plug them, but they're also good to keep dust out during, um, you know, construction. So the space back unit is tied into our Wiesman boiler via heating pipes. And this is our Wiesman boiler. This uh, is actually the water heater. And these are the heating coil accessories. Um, so that basically uh, works like a regular heating system. So instead of going to baseboard, it just goes to a heating coil. And here's our Wiesman boiler. It's direct vent. We have an intake and, ex and exhaust. And this is a combi unit, so it's used in conjunction with this combi water heater. And that in turn goes to the space pack air handler. So this air handler does heating and cooling. So here we have our termination plate again. Uh, I just wanted to make a point that these high velocity systems are not as loud as they are rumored to be. This is running right now and uh, it's not very loud. I'm right next to it. It's blowing air. And you can hear it's not very loud. I can still hear the birds chirping outside. And uh, they're really a, a nice system uh, to, to be installed where you can't fit conventional ducts. Here we have our outdoor condenser, which just gets run and piped like any other conventional condenser. You know, um, after, after it's installed, it needs to be put in a deep vacuum, evacuated. And um, these, these York units come pre-charged, so after your vacuum pulls, and after you've tested with nitrogen, um, you can just open up the valve and let it uh, let the refrigerant out, provided you're within the uh, required range. I believe it's like 50 feet you can go. Uh, this is real close to the air handler, so we didn't have to add any additional coolant. And this uses 410A.